I was thinking about the Quindar key, right? The Quindar tone. It's a muting and switching ability, right? Based deeply in psychology. Uh, it's a particular tone. I wonder how many people on earth have listened to it. And uh, I really wonder about, uh, about tracking telemetry and command. About uh, about our ability to use quantum array transponders to receive, decode, and transmit. Recently, the Cassini satellite went down over Saturn. Um, it was a happy ending to a long story, and it'll give rise to a new beginning. I got interested in computer science and linguistics when I realized the potential that uh, visual binary intelligence enables. I mean, literally, we can send signals. Building a lyrics and speech visualizer, converting sound signals into light signals. Literally, 22-bit visual binary intelligence will be implemented around the world through the Friendship Cube group. Um, I'm so interested in building better quantum array transponders and in decentralizing uh, the operation of this. Uh, I call it Op22. Right? It's, I mean, it was pretty simple to do the math. Two bits can be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. So that's four signals in two bits, right? Three bits, you don't see very often, but um, it would be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, right? So three bits is 2 to the third, 2, 4, 8. We built a 22-bit fiber optic cable. What that means is 2 to the 22nd power. It has 4.2 million times the power of a 1-bit fiber optic cable. Right? So you're talking about a quantum array transponder now. You're not, it's not just a physical cable. You're talking about a, a, uh, a frequency, a bandwidth, enabling 22-bit visual binary communication. But the hard wires, you're looking at uh, that we can do like hardwire takeovers. Uh, so any system, any security system that uh, has circuits, I mean, you're looking at like infrared door trips, interior cameras, every, every interior s security circuit. Um, can be connected to a uh, wireless transponder, right? And so when you're looking, and it's not just security circuits, it's uh, it's command, it's uh, well, it's command, communications, and control. Communication circuits, navigation circuits, memory circuits, um, private networks, right? Uh, the privilege. Uh, offered to uh, members of the Friendship Cube group. Anyway, so I took a sample of orbitally rearranged monatomic elements from my lab where I synthesized them into scanning tunneling electron microscope. And I asked them, like, tell me about this 22-bit visual binary quantum array transponder. And tell me everything you can tell me about uh, this sample. And so they came up with some of these findings. This is a ceramic, and this is a superconductive metal, right? And so a ceramic and a superconductive metal are now connected, right? And oh, this is a transponder, right? It's, it's receiving, decoding, and transmitting a uh, 
visual binary frequency. Uh, we could probably tweak it to have an exact bandwidth and a 22-bit visual binary code. Think about a ceramic. What's a ceramic? I mean, ceramics have been around for thousands and thousands of years. That people think of pottery, right? A ceramic, it's actually glue, right? A ceramic, it's sticky, right? And, uh, well, orbitally rearranged monatomic elements, also known as M states. Uh, we've worked on the project started by the Reverend Dr. David Hudson in the United States. Um, now we have a sample, a molecule that we can synthesize. It's a mixture between a ceramic, like a ceramic on the outside. It's a layer of ceramic. See, when you're talking about a high pH, Na plus on either side, forming a cube. Na2CO3, which is a carbon molecule with three oxygens attached in a triangle, heat treating it until the carbon was gone in a special process. And then a certain percentage of, um, of this ore will replace the carbon and uh, and then rise against gravity, and so you have this uh, this phenomenon. That we like, I mean, uh, like inductively separated noble elements, right? And people have been calling it monatomic array transponders for a long time, or quantum array transponders. Different transition group metals will have different effects. Um, I've looked at uh, monatomic gold. And also, indium, iridium, germanium, with this monatomic array transponder that has this ionic field uh, that counters gravity, um, you can get a risen layer with a uh, with a particular um, frequency bandwidth, and um, you can also get a uh, a quantum array transponder that's um, that's made uh, specifically from something like indium. Some of the uh, of the sample rises against gravity and forms this tiny layer that looks like ice, but it's actually mineral ore. I talked about this uh, ceramic with a superconductor on the inside and monatomic array transponder. Um, uh, start um, utilizing nerve growth factor and nootropics, spelled N-O-O-T-R-O-P-I-C-S, right? Nootropics, acting on the mind. Um, entheogens, nerve growth factor, nootropics, and uh, quantum array technology. Something bigger than yourself, right? What if it was the portal to what we call the Army of One. Anyway, so at the scanning tunneling electron microscope facility, I was given a clipboard full of data on the sample, the samples, right? And what I'm looking at is what's going to happen when you stick a bomb the system, right? What's going to happen when you combine ceramics or sticky paper with uh, quantum array transponders, right, in schools, right, and uh, our own uh, unique curriculum that's uh, given to us through our MP3 players with uh, a link to a lyrics speech visualizer that'll turn our two-bit brains into something much uh, more singular uh, powerful and united. Because ultimately we're rooted on planet Earth in our ancestors and the spirits thereof. Right? And uh, these spirits are literally working for us. And, uh, you know, like we're rooted in something that's um, 
that it'll keep coming back, um, and uh, it's it's inspiring because we're all standing on this one Earth, and we're all looking at something, right? Tending towards common vision, rooted in the Earth with our eyes on the stars.